Welcome to Wild World News. Well, 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 back with some Wild World News and how fitting that I'm wearing my Man of Steel Under Armour on the way to the gym. But I got this email with this headline and I said, what? Okay, now, before I jumped on Miss Rodriguez for what she said, I said I had to take a look, you know, I didn't want to jump on her like a savage without thinking or looking deeper. So I got two articles here and first one came out before the second one. And the second one says that she clarified her statements. But this is what I was gonna say. I was going to say, wait a minute, Michelle Rodriguez says minority actors should stop stealing white superheroes? <laughs> what? I was about to say, well, maybe lesbian actresses should stop stealing straight actresses' roles. How about that? What if I said that? I'd be wrong, correct? As a matter of fact, how about you come out to Dom in the next Fast and Furious? Hey, Dom. Remember the last time we had sex and I was unresponsive? I'm a lesbian, yo. Oh, Letty. I live my life a quarter mile at a time, but I can't take this. Family's most important. You know what I'm saying? Like, what if that fucking shit happened? So then, you know, then I say, all right, before I jump on camera and say, say some shit attacking the woman, I don't even know her, you know what I'm saying? Why don't I read what she had to say? So here's the first uh, article from the Hollywood Reporter that people sent me. And it says, um, not everyone is on board with, oh, what, well, another thing I was going to say is the reason why I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, comic book fans, but I believe that the comic books started to have more minority superheroes is because they wanted to make it more like reality. You know, in real life, if superheroes existed, but let's take it a step down. Just people that are talented and extraordinary in life. They are more than just white. So I think they wanted to make it more like reality instead of everybody being white, like it back in more, more racist times, because it's still racism still exists. Let's make it more like reality. Okay, so now we have a black Spider-Man. We have a black Superman. Hollywood, you need an actor for Valzad. Look no further. Okay, we have a female Thor. You get what I'm saying? They said in one of the universes, um, si um, Colossus is gay. You get what I'm saying? We're getting all this diversity now to make it more like real life so more people can relate. But let's see what she said. She said, first, she said, not everyone is on board with diversity. Casting for traditionally white superhero roles. Um, Michelle Rodriguez, who will soon be in Fast and Furious 7, told TMZ that minority actors deserve their own characters rather than playing white characters. So I understood what she meant right there. I was like, okay, she's probably not familiar with comic book dumb. Because, you know, we got a black Green Lantern. And, you know, like I said, you know, there's, there's black lightning. There's, um, you know, there's, there's uh, uh, the black Spider-Man who's actually mixed. He's half um, uh, Latino, half black. Uh, there's Storm, of course. She's black. I mean, there's just a lot of different characters now with more diversity. So I assume that she just didn't read comic books much. But I can see the fire hailstorm that she would get from that. People just jumping the gun. See, I don't jump the gun. All right, so let me see what she had to say. Like, comicbook.com has an article. It says that she clarifies her superhero statements. Said last night, TMZ asked Michelle Rodriguez about a supposed rumor leaking her name with Green Lantern. She laughed off the rumor and then shared her opinion that people should stop trying to change white superheroes. You can view her full comments by clicking here. Okay, uh, let's see here, uh, um, actually she'll be in the next Green Lantern because apparently that's a rumor, I've never heard it, but they seem to think it's worth asking about, it was News of Rodriguez too, who supplied them with headline catching response as to why she isn't right for it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, Rodriguez told TMZ. 
yeah, I think it's so stupid to like, but wait, to like because of this whole like minorities in Hollywood thing, but it's stupid. Like, stop stealing, you know, all the white people's superheroes. Like, make up your own. <laughs> know what I'm saying? What's up with that? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Um, let me go back to the other article and let's see what she clarified. Her comments have sparked a lot of responses online and she felt compelled to clarify her comments by posting a new video on her Facebook page. You can read a transcription below or watch the video at the bottom. Let's see here. Let me see if I can find this. Uh, I don't see. Let me see here. Yep. Boom, boom. Let's get this. Come on. Wait for it to lose. Hey, guys. I want to clarify about my comment yesterday. Publicist got it hurt. Um, like, you better calm the fuck so down. I put it in my mouth once again. <laughs> and I said that uh, people should stop trying to steal um, white people superheroes. And um, <laughs> I guess it got taken out of context because a lot of people got uh -huh. offended or whatever. But see, I ain't jump on you, see? I was ready to see what you had to say. Like, you know, speak without a filter. Sorry about that. What I really meant was that, you know, ultimately at the end of the day, there's a language. And the language that you speak in Hollywood is successful franchise. And, um, and I think that there are many cultures in Hollywood that are not white that can come up with their own mythology. And, um, I mean, we all get it from the same reservoir of life, the fountain of life, it, you know, and it doesn't matter what culture you come from. I'm just saying that instead of trying to turn a, a girl character into a guy or instead of trying to turn a white character into a black character or Latin character, I think that people should stop being lazy and, you know, and, and that people should actually make an effort in Hollywood to develop their own mythology. And you know what? If being American is your mythology and, you know, the American culture is deep embedded into who you are and what makes you or the archetype that you're trying to portray in a Hollywood feature or in a comic book, so be that. But I'm just saying that the different cultures from, from around the world that are in Hollywood, Latin, Black, you know, Asian, so on and so forth, considered minorities because there aren't a lot of writers representing them. They should start focusing on making that, you know, uh, a, a serious uh, priority, you know? It's, it's not about taking, you know, uh, Catwoman or Superman or Green Lantern or, you know, whatever these characters are and trying to make them fit to whatever, you know, cultural background you are. It's, it's you know, I just feel like it, it should be more creative than that. And I think that people need to stop being lazy. And, um, and that's what I meant by my comment. And you know, I'm taking it to heart as well. And I'm, I'm considering this while I am out there coming up with projects to do and things to write. So I just think that, you know, that it's time to stop. Stop trying to, you know, take what's already there and try to fit, fit a culture into it. I think that it's time for us to write our own mythology and, and our own story, every culture. So, that's what I really meant, and I'm sorry if it came off, you know, rude or stupid. Um, or oh, ignorant. I mean. So, cheers. I love her phone was your phone was ringing, wasn't it? After you said that shit, <laughs> they're like, "Girl, what did you say?" The 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 phone lines is lighting up. The internet. You you thought Kim Kardashian broke the internet? You broke the internet. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I see what she's trying to say, but. Yeah, uh, the, yeah, there were black superheroes before, but yeah, they, uh, she's talking about successful franchise. I think they may want to cash in on that. Superheroes that are already established create an alternate universe where they are different uh, ethnic ethnicities, and then you can cash in on people that are already super popular rather than building from the bottom, which is, I think, what she's considering 
the, the lazy part people don't want to just create a brand new character and you know so I, I get where she's coming from I understand her but yeah I was about to jump on it just like the savages out there that jumped on it but I said no no let me do a little research cause you know I don't want to look like that idiot asshole who don't you know cause I know what it's like being on YouTube people take what you say the wrong fucking way and it's like these idiots they, they really paid attention to what I said but you know, I don't make, you know, I try not to make statements that just, you know, close-ended, you know, like that, where people are like, what the fuck you say? You know, so, anyway, y'all, post comments down below, let me know what you thought of this whole debacle that she got herself into, all right? If you like my reaction in the story, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the like button. One million subscribers with a 100,000 subscribers plaque on the way. Woo!